Hey guys, so, um, okay, so I remember I, uh, remember I told you guys that a company had contacted me and said, um, we want to send you some clothes, do you want to try them out, do a review, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I ended up taking the clothes, saying, yes, please, that would be really nice of you, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Um, they said, pick ten to, or pick seven to ten things and we'll send them to you. So they ended up actually sending me, um, I picked, um, out fifteen things and, um, they ended up, because they said sometimes they're out of stock, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They ended up sending me thirteen of the fifteen things which I thought was really nice of them and stuff, and, um, that was really great. Okay, so then, um, I got the clothes and stuff, or before I got the clothes, they actually, she actually messaged me again, and she said, um, you know, this is weird. Okay, she said, she messaged me again, and she said, um, you know, okay, we're gonna send you the clothes, but, um, if there's if by if there's any reason that you um, can't do a positive review on everything, please let me know right away. And I didn't message her back or anything like that because she'd already sent me the stuff. And I just felt like, okay, now I feel like I'm being like bribed or something like that to only say positive things about it. When really that's not what a review is. A review is when you review things and you tell people like an honest opinion about something, right? So, um, and I mean honestly, like. You know, I'm an honest person. I'm just going to tell the honest truth about stuff. So that being said, um, this is my honest review about what I received from the company. And like, I mean, obviously, I don't like it when people are mad at me or anything. But um, my loyalty is to my subscribers. And I mean, I think the company was really nice to send me everything. And I do like some of the stuff. But I'm just going to tell you like the honest truth. And that's it. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So first of all, they sent me this shirt, and um, it's a black shirt. It's a size small, and I do like this shirt. It's really cute. It has like a little bit of um, two little like um, rhinestone detailing right here, and then it has a sort of like a keyhole keyhole top. And I probably will do like some outfits of the days with some of these things that I do like, and I'll show you guys them on. But I wasn't gonna like try everything on, try and hold the camera up, and do everything. It would have taken me like ten years. And you guys know how that goes with my videos. So this is the top. It's cute. Um, one thing that I would say about it is it's pretty, the material is quite thin. I'm sh I'm hoping that you guys can kind of see through that. It is it is quite a bit thin, but that's really not too too big of a deal um, for, for a shirt or whatever. Because you could just wear like a, you know, like a black bra underneath it. And it wouldn't be too much of a big deal. Because this is maybe kind of a shirt you would wear more at nighttime anyways. So that's not too bad. So I did like the shirt and it fit true to size and it's cute on. So this was a this was a thumbs up for sure. So that was cute, liked it. Um, I'm just gonna go with how it is in this thing. The second thing that I picked out was this black dress, and on the model it looked really really good. And the reason I picked this black dress was because I wanted it to. I don't. I thought the earrings were up here, but they're not. Um, I picked this black dress because I like the um, detailing right here on one of the arms. I thought it would go really good with those big earrings that I had received from um, Je ne sais quoi, uh, the earring company. And it, it did look really, really good on the model, but in real life, it's sort of not as great. But it's still a cute dress, and I think that it would look good on a lot of people. It just doesn't look that great on me. But it's made just sort of okay, and it's all right, and for the price, I mean, I think it was like a $30 dress or something, it's it's okay, but it's not really that flattering on me. But it is an okay made dress. It's one of those dresses that you would maybe wear like once or twice and then probably wouldn't wear again, so that would be what I would say about this. It would definitely not be something that, it's not like a little black dress that you would keep forever and ever and wear a billion times over and over again. Um, and that would be my opinion on it. The bathing suits are awesome. They sent me three bathing suits and all three of them are really, 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 really nice. This is the first one. Oops, it's attached to something here. Oh lord. Okay, this is the first bathing suit. The bottoms are... I'll take the bottoms off here so you can see them. The bottoms look like this. They're just pink striped. Can you see? And then on the back there's some writing in gold. Looks like that. So they're super cute. I love striped bikinis. So that's what that looks like. And then the top is just a triangle top, again, with some gold writing right here. And then some it has gold loops right there. And then just string. String bikini. And then it has uh, padding in here so you don't see your nips or anything like that when you're wet. Which is always a good thing. 
Okay, oh, this one is just so horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the company and the girl because she was really, really nice to me. And, you know, but I, my loyalty is to my subscribers and that's all I can say about it. Whatever, like, I'll send you your stuff back. You know, whatever. Um, okay, because these people are, like, honest people that work and, like, they deserve to know the truth. So I don't care. Um, okay, so this thing looked so good on the model and the material looked like it wasn't going to be like this, but it honestly, it's like t-shirt material and it looked like such a nice dress. I was like, oh, this dress is so nice. I can't wait to get it, whatever, but it's not. It's t-shirt material and it was a dress on the model, but it would be something that you would wear as a t-shirt. And if you're short like me, these kind of dresses do not look good because it didn't look like this on the model. It looked like it was just like a form fitting dress, but it's one of those like bunching ones that like bunch up at the waist and then it's like tight at the bottom sort of again and really it's more like a t-shirt than a dress like look how short it is like I'm a dwarf practically I'm only 5'1 almost 5'2 and it's so short so I don't know how this would be a dress on anybody that's actually you know normal height so um, I don't know. So this is like a, a t-shirt. I mean, if the company doesn't try and like kill me, I don't think they will. I think they're, they, I think people actually should appreciate like an honest review because some of the things are really awesome from here. It's just like, you know, you got to pick and choose properly. If the company doesn't try and kill me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, um, I'll do like a contest for the stuff that I don't like. Cause maybe, you know what? Some people have different tastes, right? Maybe like somebody out there is looking at this going, oh my God, I love that and wants it. Right? So that's what I'll do with the stuff that I don't want. Um, so this is a dress slash top that might be fabulous on one of you. It could be yours for the price. It's red. Pick a number between 1 and 35,000 or however many subscribers I have. Okay, so that's this. Um, not my style. I thought it was on the model. It's t-shirt material. It just is totally not flattering for me. But if you're really, really tiny and skinny, maybe it would work for you. I don't know. Not my thing. The next thing that I got, I do like this. It's really cute. It would be really cute with a pair of jeans in the summertime and for going out clubbing. It's a bustier. It does up in the back like this. And it has gold detailing on the front with like little zippers. It's pleather. Um, and I think this was about, I don't know, it doesn't have price tags on it, so I don't know exactly the price of it or anything, but I guess you guys can look up on hotmiamistyles.com to find out the prices on all this stuff. Um, and then that's the front, and it has just um, it's still got the wrapping stuff on it, but it just has gold detailing like this and zips up in the front, ties in the back. So this is actually really cute, and it's really cute on as well. So that'd be kind of like for going out or whatever, clubbing. Oh my god, okay, this thing... <sighs> I've had a few of my girlfriends try this on when they come over to my house and I've also tried it on myself to figure out like how it works and it is... I think it must be like... Uh, like a factory mess up or something because it's just not right. Like, okay, this is this is the um this is the collar, okay? And this is one of the arms right here. And this is the other arm right here. Okay, like this is the other arm right here. So, like do you get it? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I promise you, it doesn't make any sense. Like, when you put it on, there's, like, this huge, weird thing right here that, that happens. And then, like, it goes like that, and then this is the bottom part. It's just very awkward. Like, it's very, very, very awkward. And I know, like, there's, like, these slouchy dresses that are, like, supposed to be slouchy, but this whole thing happening right here is not right. It's it's just so wrong for so many different reasons and also it's sort of see-through and it's just it's so beyond bad it's just bad 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 and like I don't even know how to tell you how bad it is it's just so bad and yeah that's all I'm gonna say about this it's just like nobody wants this trust me it's like really bad it's like car wash bad like wash my car with it bad Okay, this one's really nice though. I love this dress. Super, super cute. It was super cute on the model. I was like totally in love with it when I saw it. It's basic black, and this is the kind of dress that you could keep for a really, really long time. You could wear it out for dinner. You could wear it. You could wear this to a funeral. You could wear this to, um, like, on a date. You could wear this all over the place. And it's so cute in the front. Look at it. Look at it come up in the front. That's the bottom of it. Can you see it? And then the back is so cute. It's backless, like that. And then look at the bow. Majorly cute. 
so I really do like this dress. And the material is really nice. It's got some stretch to it. It's like thick and it holds you in really well and it's really cute on. You guys will definitely see me do an outfit of the day with this dress because it's really adorable. I really like it. The length is perfect. It's just above the knee sort of. It's really cute. It's really cute on. So this one is definitely a good one. I do like it. Okay. <sighs> Okay, this one was the, probably the most expensive one on the website. I think it was $89. And the material is really thick fabric, okay? It's like really thick, really stretchy. I don't know what name brand it is. Oh, wait. I do. It's Eugenia, made in the USA. And the dress is like really fitting. It's a size extra small, I think. Or a... Yeah, it's an extra small. It's made by a swimwear company, which is weird. They started in 1984, hotter than the sun, it says. And it has a zipper in the back. And the dress is like really fitting. It fits so awesome in the body. But the only thing that's really weird about it is the arm. It's so big in the arm. Like there's no shape. So the body fits like awesome. Like it form fits to your body and it's like, whew, like totally awesome silhouette. But then your arm, it just has like, there's like the arm has no shape whatsoever to it. It's ridiculous. So they've made this like perfectly gorgeous dress for your body and then the arm is like totally messed up. So I don't get it. I don't know. So you'd have to basically like what I'm going to have to do with this dress is get the arm like cut off and have it just be like um, one strap for the arm because it's such a gorgeous dress on the body but this is really bad and then maybe get like some sort of like applique put on it or something like that on the sleeve right here because this is just it looks really awkward it looks just so awkward with the arm like so baggy it doesn't it just looks like they just like sewed on like a big arm to it it looks like it should be like a leg hole I don't know it doesn't make any sense at all so that was kind of good, but kind of bad, because then now you're going to have to pay to, like, get get it fixed, right? So, you know, you feel really good because they sent you all these free clothes and stuff like that, but then you're, like, sort of, like, well, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll show you a bikini. Okay, they sent me this bikini. It's, like, blue, stripey blue, and you can do it up um, either in the back like this, just in the back straps like that, or you can untie the straps and do it up around your neck. And the bottoms look like this. They just tie up on the sides. So you can loosen them up or make them tighter depending on how big your butt is. The next top that I picked out was this one. And I don't know why I picked this top because it's like so vibrant and so plaid. But I was having a plaid moment. And I actually do like plaid. Like sometimes. It's probably one of those tops that you wouldn't really wear very often. But I don't know. I kind of liked it, and I have like quite a few pairs of red shoes, and I do like to wear red lipstick, so I was like, hmm, I'm going to go for it. And it's actually pretty cute on. So, it's like this. It has red, or it has puffy sleeves right here, and then it, it does all the way up with these rhinestone buttons, and then it ties up in the front like this. Like it has like a little tie here. And it also, um, it sort of bunches at the bust. I don't know if you can see. But this is actually pretty cute. And and it's not too long in the waist or whatever. It just sort of sits like right. It, it's fitted. And it sits right where your jeans end. So it's like it's really form fitted and it's cute. And this actually looks really good on. So I do like this. And I do like the plaid. Just sort of like a different print. You know with like a dark wash of jeans. A pair of red heels. Some red lips. Um, you know a winged liner. It, it's cute. So I do really really like this top. The next thing... I'm almost done, you guys. The next thing is this black dress. I love this black dress. It's really cute. It looks like this. The sleeves are like that. It's backless, and this has like a small tie. The only bad thing about this dress is that it's really sheer. But you would wear it at nighttime, although I have to say you have to wear probably um, some sort of dress underneath it, like a camisole dress sort of thing underneath it, and you'd have to find something that's uh, again, like has a, a backless thing to it because otherwise, what would be the point? Because you would be able to see it in the back. So that makes it a bit difficult as well because it's, I don't know if you can see that, but can you see my face through there? It's very sheer. So that's that. They also sent me this jacket, which is cute. It's cream colored with big buttons. The buttons are sewed on fairly well. I don't think that they would... Mm, 
they're okay. You might want to reinforce them, actually. I probably would reinforce them myself just because I always lose buttons. This is what the sleeves look like. I like when sleeves are like that because they keep your arms warm at the ends. It's well fitted. It's a size small. It fits me really good. Made in China. But it's pretty light. It's like sort of that felty material. But it's cute and the price was really good. I mean, it probably only lasts you one season, but it's a cute coat for sure. And then this is what the back looks like. But this is actually a really cute coat. I'll show you guys it on. So it's cute. This is a cute coat, and that's like the cuffs right there. So this is really pretty. I actually really like this coat. So there was quite a few things that were cute. And then the last thing they sent me, oh, there's the bottoms. The last thing they sent me was this bikini, and it's probably like my favorite of the bikinis. Looks like that in the front. It's got a little heart. This can come down right here, obviously. It's got a little heart in the front here, and then it has little beads at the top. And then the bottom, the bottom looks like this. It has another little heart right here on the side. And like that, it scrunches up in the butt in the back. So, my feet are sleeping right now. So honestly, the jacket was really nice. The bikinis were really nice. A few of the dresses were really nice. But the material on some of the things was not that great. That one blue dress is a total write-off. I don't know if that was some sort of like factory mess up or... Um, if I don't know what was going on with that but I mean honestly it was pretty good it was okay I guess it was sort of just like any time that you shop online like some of the things are good some of the things aren't so good I know with like some of the places that I shop with online it's the same sort of thing sometimes I get it and I'm like oh it looked so much better online than it looked in real life so I don't know that's my honest opinion on it uh, I didn't think that it was like super amazing it certainly wasn't like um shopping at, you know, a, a major designer designer shop or something, but it was definitely okay, and it was free, so that was really awesome, but, um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful to some of you guys. I'm sorry if I've offended anybody, but this is my honest opinion, and I guess that's the whole point of it, right? So, yeah, peace. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, actually, really quickly, I just want to show you guys. Maybe I'll just show you this really quick. Um, I went today to go pick up, uh the um, winner of my contest, her eyeshadow. So I guess I'll show you guys what she picked really quickly. Here's her Pro Palette that I got her. And I'm going to take this coat off because it's kind of hot with all these lights on me. And I'll show you the colors that she picked. Actually, I got, she, she picked out 15 colors, but they only, they didn't have three of the colors that she picked, so she picked five alternates. So I'll show you the, the ones that I got her. I ended up getting her. So I got her the palette. And then the colors that she ended up getting were rice paper, chrome yellow, woodwinked, um, tilt, plumage, Um, electric eel. She likes the bright colors. Um, a parfait amour. Shroom. She got swish. Cranberry. Sketch. Nylon, which is one of my favorites. Antique, uh, yeah, antiqued. This is uh, Stars and Rockets. Is that what that is? Yeah. And the last one she got was Espresso. So yeah, I'm going to ship that off to her tomorrow and the other people who won as well their prizes tomorrow for the contest. And yeah. So that's it. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.